Well, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. What's your name? Hi, my name's Soraya. I'm 25 years old. Soraya, okay. And what do you do? I work in healthcare. Healthcare, okay. Yes. And what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to go to the gym, Pilates, interior design. Hey, man, y'all know the routine. Put your cash up in the comments. If you don't know the routine, that's how we do it this channel. You put your cash up in the comments, and eventually I'll be blessing all y'all. So you feel me? And make sure when you get blessed, you say you got blessed in the comments so that... The other people know I ain't capping, you feel me? But hey, let's get into the video, man. Painting, coffee shops, okay. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now what are some things you look for in a man? Um, a man of God, first and foremost. Um, I like a man who's healed, um, adventurous like me. I'm very spontaneous. Um, Goal-orientated, goal-driven and funny because I like to laugh. Okay, yeah. and now what are some of your deal breakers? Um, I would say like a narcissist mm. or like someone, yeah, I'd say a narcissist. Okay, <laughs> all right, so we have not got any pop balloons yet. <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> so for the first round, I am gonna have you pop two guys balloons. Okay. Just kind of based off of what's not really your type, or you're not really feeling. So let me give you a toothpick. Oh, yeah. There you go. Then oh, I'll let you go ahead and pop those two. Then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> um, I know it's tough. Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, one more. Dang, bro, I know dude in the braids be feeling bad because he be getting, you feel me, popped all the time. But, hey, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this to my brother in the braids. Just get to the bag, brother. Just get to the bag, brother. And watch. No females, they're going to float to you. You feel me? Aesthetically, uh, uh, against a whole bunch of tall dudes and stuff, you probably ain't going to compete. But get, get, get to the bag, and that's going to make you a lot taller. I promise you that. Start the first one you popped. So if we can have your name and age. Tony, 28. Okay. And Tony, why did you have your balloon um, unpopped? Because um, I just wanted to see what she was going to say. She's definitely a beautiful young lady, but I just wanted to see what she had to offer pretty much. Okay. All right. And why did we end up popping Tony's balloon? Um, you're very handsome. Thank I you. like taller men. That's it. You're very Thank handsome. You. Thank you. All right, let's go to our next guy. If we can have your name and age and... I'm Hendo, I'm 25. Okay, and Hendo, why did you have your balloon left unpopped? So she said she like adventure and that's something I'm into myself. Mm -hmm. So it's like at any moment we can just wake up and go do something, whether it be a day trip or just a random spontaneous date. Okay. So therefore I was just like, okay, I'll see where it goes. Okay. okay, and why did we end up popping Hendo's balloon? You're very handsome as well. Just, I, I do like taller men. That's but you're very handsome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. All right, let's go back over here. So I'm going to have you ask the remaining guys a question to go ahead and help us narrow it down. Okay. Okay, I'll start with you. Um, who are your role models in your life? Your name and age, and then who are your role models? My name is Caleb. I'm 27. And my role model would have to be my mom, um, hands down, just because uh, she's taught me a lot growing up. Um, and I haven't, I haven't met uh, a stronger woman than her. Uh, she raised me as a single mother, um, so that would be my role model. I love that. I also have a single mom too, so I can relate to that. I love that. Okay. okay. She said she had Kim. a single mom. That could be a problem. That could be a problem, depending on what type of mom she got. If her mom is a scorned mom and taught her to uh, don't care about these niggas, these niggas ain't ish, then it, it could be a huge problem being from a single mom with, as a female. I'm just saying. I'm 27. Um, my role model, I would have to say, would be God. I don't know if that's like valid, but I just want to move like a God, like a man of God, like, you know, somebody with integrity, somebody that, you know, stand on what they say they're going to do. Um, yeah, so just move like a God, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my role model, really. Move like a God? Well, God is my role model. Okay. Basically. How is God your role model? Like I said, like, um, I don't want to, I'm never going to be perfect, you know what I mean? But God is perfect. Like he, you know what I mean? He, he does what he says he's going to do. 
Uh, he makes mountains move, you know what I mean? He's a provider, he's on time, like, and that's how I want to be, so that's who I, you know, just follow every day. I look to towards God, I talk to him if I need any direction on anything, and I just ask him to lead me towards life, and I just follow. Okay. Thank you. No doubt. All right, your name is Honestly, that was my answer, because I don't look up to a human being. My, my role model is Jesus Christ. When I read the scripture, you feel me, and I see how Jesus moved, I want to move like that. That's my role model. There is not a human being on this earth that I look up to. Not even my father. I don't look up to no human being. The only person I can say is my role model is Jesus Christ, and, and that's just that. Who's your role model? So I'm John. I'm 30. Uh, my role model is my father, a 23 year combat vet. Um, he's instilled in me more than I could ever imagine for any man to, to, to instill in me. I played sports growing up, coaches, all that kind of stuff like that. My father was just hands down, just the guy that I always wanted to be, always wanted to look up to. So my father for sure. Okay. Thank me. you. Yeah, no Love doubt. that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right, let's go to our last guy over here. Name and age and who's your role model? My name is Luan, I'm 27. My role model, my uncle. He showed me life early, like this is what it is. This is a lifestyle. He a boss, so you know he took me, you know, like he showed me Mexico. He showed me all kind of places, you know, how to how to live a boss lifestyle. So that kind of motivated me to become a boss, to be like him. So yeah, that's pretty much my lifestyle, and my role model. Okay. Yeah. So how are you a boss? Now I own my own business. I have interns work for me. Okay. Or whatnot, and uh, working on building that and expanding that for sure. Okay. And so I, I refer myself as a boss and teaching them how to do business as well. And you know, I'm a real like example, you know, getting it from the mud. So I'm, I ain't had nobody pass nothing down to me. So I'm telling them like critics, I'm telling them about financial literacy, I'm teaching them about social skills because that's very important too. So, you know, I'm teaching them all kind of things to, to become a better version of themselves. So, yeah. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you've heard. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> okay, I'm and sorry. then one more. <sighs> mm. This is hard. I know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay, since we're here, let's start. Okay, here, light right? skins winning. You feel me? We back on top after Drake got dismantled. You mm -hmm. feel me? So hey, these two light skin brothers representing for us. End up popping heads. I loved your answers. Um, I think it's just the style a little bit. Uh, I'm just like more like business casual. Okay. You said come as your best, and like you went on a date, so. Leather jacket, jeans, tennis shoes, and just a little casual for me. Okay. But I liked your answers. You're very handsome. Appreciate that. No problem. Appreciate that. Yeah. So every guy's just very handsome. Like all of them, just very handsome. I hear this a lot on this show. Very. Do they practice this in the back? Do all the girls get together and just say, we're going to say every guy we reject is very handsome? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, come on, bro. It's getting old, man. And that short thing is getting old, too. Tomorrow, I like my man talk. Man, it's getting old, bro. Okay. Let's go to our other popped balloon. Why do we end up popping his? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I just took from your answers like you have like a God complex a little bit. Um, you said you wanted to be like God. If you are a real Christian, you should want to be like Jesus. Um, I mean, that's what the scripture says is follow him take on his ways do what he did be like christ that's what paul teach and i mean if you read the scripture i read the scripture every single day so i think that's what he was saying like not i want to be god no god i want to be like god we all should want to be like jesus we want to move like him honest you know what i'm saying a great person a good man man of his word type vibe but i don't think she 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 not there yet mentally Know how that's possible being like human and a mortal <laughs> i don't know it kind of confused me a little bit so yeah you feel it yeah but sure. you're very handsome appreciate it of course <laughs> yeah. all right okay i'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the guys another question um okay 
Uh, what is your best emotional quality? Emotional quality. I feel like I'm very caring um, about the individual. I'm making sure her needs are met. Um, just being a provider and being very supportive of, uh, supportive of her um, in every way, shape, or form. Good. You look like you want to ask more. I think I do. So okay. you said you're you're caring, you're a provider. How how like what's an example of you doing that? Like how do you show that you care? Um, so me, I like to go out my way and do like the little things. I think the little things uh, matter the most. Um, so if I'm just out um, and I know I'm make a quick trip and go get a favorite coffee or if I see some of her favorite color, um, just getting things like that, just to doing the small things that I know will just brighten her day. Okay, I like that. Mm. I like that. Okay. Awesome. Go over here. All right. Okay. What was your question again? Uh, what's your best emotional quality? So my best emotional quality is probably the control I have over my emotions. You know, I'm not like a man that lets emotions get the best of them. You know, I'm always thinking twice about things, left, right, up, down. Um, just having control because I think once upon a time I didn't have control of my emotions, but now I do, and it's like I've grown a lot since then. And I think that's definitely my most important emotional thing is to have control over my emotions. Okay. For sure. I agree. Yeah, definitely. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think, yeah. All right. <laughs> and guys, do we have a question to ask her? Uh, yes, I do. So, um, some people would say like their past relationships are regrets. Um, I personally don't look at it like that. I like to think of it as like lessons learned. Um, there's uh, different things um, that you could take away from a relationship to kind of learn um, something you did right or something that could have been done better. So I would have to say my question to you is, what is a lesson learned um, in terms of like growth from that you could take away from your past relationship? That's a great question. Um, I think just overall patience. Um, in the past, when I was younger, I used to be really impulsive and impatient with my emotions and just how I would react to things. But from my past relationships and other people that I've talked to, um, I've definitely learned how to be more patient, just wait before I act or speak on something because acting out of emotion is just not good. And I always seem to regret it. So just being more patient. Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Any questions over here? Yeah. So what do you feel like you add to a relationship personally? That's a great question. Um, I think I'm very positive, very happy all the time, very nurturing, giving, very receptive as well, um, easily adaptable. So if there is something that I'm not particularly good at that my man or my boyfriend, my husband wants to see more of me, I'm easily adaptable to love do it. that for him. I love it. Yeah. I love that word, adapt. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Adapt. I love it. <laughs> I mean, she, she sounds like she's just too good, you feel me? But I see right through her, bro. Like, I already know what type of female she is. She, first of all, you're going to have to spend a lot of money on her. You'll see. You'll see in the follow-up. Whoever she choose, we're going to see if I'm right. We're going to do the follow-up episode and see what type of vibe she is. You feel me? We're going to do the follow-up episode. But... She the type of woman, you better spin that bag on her. This is it. All right. So I am going to have you pop one of the guy's balloons based off of what you've heard so far. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So why do we end up popping his balloon? Um, I popped because, well, you're, you're handsome, of course. I loved all of your answers. Um, I would say it just goes back to emotions. I feel like anyone could do anything, like they could go out of their way and, you know, do stuff. I feel like just knowing how to control your emotions, it's more like mental rather than like actions. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm, I get you. But I think emotionally, like, that's com that comes first, just knowing how to treat someone, knowing how to be receptive to them. And yeah, just, yeah. I understand that. <laughs> I that, that, was that, just, that was just uh, something I had to quick on my toes just say something real quick I didn't want to keep you waiting you're absolutely gorgeous stunning Thank um, you. you have a beautiful aura around surrounding you and you just his just smile. voice always shaking but this boy be nervous or something there's something wrong like he's nervous bro what you nervous for boy come on man tighten up what time <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right thank you okay let's bring our guy on up here come on <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So, any final questions between either one of you? I got one. Um, do you like traveling? And are you opposed to someone that doesn't currently live in Phoenix, but maybe possibly or actually gearing towards moving to Phoenix? I love to travel. And if you are possibly thinking of moving to Phoenix, then that's good. Definitely. Where do you live now? Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, I've never yeah. been to North Carolina, That's so cool. shoot. That's cool, yeah, got a reason to come. <laughs> yeah. I work for the airliner, so I fly free, all that kind of oh stuff like God, that. Oh my God, it's so, yeah. even better. <laughs> I'm mobile for sure, super awesome. mobile, definitely. Awesome. Also, you have any kids? No. Do you Perfect. have kids? No kids. Okay. Yeah, no kids. All right. So my final question, is it going to be a yes for you for her? It's a definite yes. Oh, is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match! <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on off. Uh, hey, yeah, let's give it up for dude that. Dude look like DJ Envy, bro. Dude look like DJ Envy, but I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see it on the follow up if I if my theory was correct. I think she. I don't know, but she just give me them gold digger, bro. I, I I'm so experienced in this area. You feel me? Like I, I can just look at it and tell. You feel me? I just get that vibe. You feel me? <laughs> But hey, y'all go follow me on Instagram, 200 underscore acres, man. Thank you guys for watching the video, man. Thank you guys a lot for make, helping us make bring the channel this far in such a short amount of time, man, bro. We did this all together, man. And I got something special for y'all. You feel me? And then I'm going to continue to bring something special for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I will be making original content as well. I got to get from behind the, you know, reaction as well. I'm going to always do the reaction, but I'm going to bring y'all some good, um, you know, original content, but hey, 200 family. See you guys next video. And always remember, be safe out there, Kings. Let's get it, man.